Today is another milestone in our Daily in the Word journey. You know, we've covered every chapter of the 27 books in the New Testament, and today we're wrapping up the 11th book of the Old Testament, the book of 1 Kings. Now, 1 Kings 22 tells the story of King Ahab of Israel and King Jehoshaphat of Judah. They're joining forces to fight against the king of Aram. Now, before going to battle, they consult with the prophets to see if they'll be successful. Now, Ahab's prophets, they're not really speaking on behalf of God at all, and they prophesy success. But Jehoshaphat, he asks if there's any other prophets, a prophet that will speak truly on behalf of God. And we see in this chapter that Ahab kind of reluctantly brings in Micaiah, who prophesies that the battle will result in Ahab's death. Now, despite this, Ahab goes full force into battle, eventually struck by an arrow, and he dies. And 1 Kings, you know, it begins with Israel as a mighty nation united under David, the most devout king of Israel's history. And the book ends with a divided kingdom and the death of Ahab, the most wicked king of all. How did it get to this point? What happened? Well, the people followed leaders who ignored God and allowed their lives to be conformed by the world around them. And you know, that's always the first step toward ruin. As we come to the close of this Old Testament book, I think a key lesson for us is actually found in what the Apostle Paul writes in the New Testament to that church in Rome, chapter 12, verses one and two. I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he's done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he'll find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior and the customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Let's learn and apply this lesson from 1 Kings. Don't copy the world around you, but follow God in all his ways. Let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think through his word. And as the Apostle Paul says, then, then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good, pleasing, and perfect.